Hey guys, what's up? My name is Taylor if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. As you guys may know, we are finally in the month of June, which means it's officially summer. Summer is honestly the best season and I want to make this summer the best summer yet. I know I say that like every summer, but this summer is going to be so good. I can feel it. There are just so many good things about summer. Like the weather is always nice. You get to hang out with your friends all the time and you you just have so much free time. The only thing with having so much free time is we begin to experience that thing we all don't really like at all. Boredom. Luckily for you guys, I have compiled a list of very inexpensive and some are even free things to do when you're bored at home during the summer. Also, if you're not watching this video during the summer, there are a few things on this list that you can do at any time of the year. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Starting off with number one, learn how to crochet. Crocheting is honestly such a fun hobby and it's super useful as well. Like you can literally make anything you want. I guarantee you there's a YouTube tutorial out there for that. You can make clothes, stuffed animals, blankets, etc, etc, etc. There's like endless possibilities. I actually made a crochet video a couple videos down on my channel. I, I'll link it in the corner. It's in one of these corners somewhere. If you want to go check that out, if that seems like something that would interest you, I promise it's not something for grandma. I mean, grandma, you can you can definitely crochet, but it's not a grandma hobby. It's actually super fun and it's definitely super useful. It also can be super cheap as well. Like I get a lot of my yarn from the dollar store, which is a dollar. But um, yeah, crocheting is definitely a hobby that I seriously recommend. Learn how to play the guitar. I started playing the guitar around a year ago and I'm so glad I did. It's such a fun and cool instrument to learn how to play. You could either play the acoustic guitar or the electric guitar and it doesn't have to be all that expensive either. You can just go on Amazon and pick out a cheap one and still be able to play something really cool. Especially if you're just getting started, you don't want to go and buy like a super expensive guitar. But once you've been playing for a while and you want to move up and get something a little more expensive then you can do that and honestly you don't even need to you don't need a super expensive one to be able to play really good it matters the guitarist not the guitar and like just imagine how cool it would be if you were like at a party and there was a guitar there and someone just hands it to you and then you could just start playing it that would just be so cool get artsy whether this be painting a picture or following a drawing tutorial here on YouTube it does not matter anything to get in that creative spirit even if you don't think you're that good at drawing or painting, this is a good way to challenge yourself. Maybe even try something new. The bonus thing you could do is to go do this outside because then you can just get sunlight and breathe fresh air and get out of your house. And you could like put a blanket down and have like a little picnic and it could just be a really fun activity. You can also do this with friends if you want or you can always do it solo. Another thing is when you're all finished with your artwork, you can take it and use it to decorate your room with it which actually leads me to the next thing decorate your room this is another thing you can do to really get in that creative spirit and it doesn't have to be expensive either there are so many room decor DIYs that you can make I actually have a video on this if you want to go check that out and you're not sure what to make for your room I made a couple cute little DIYs so definitely go check that out if you want to decorate your room without spending a lot of money decorating your room can be such a fun thing to do and you will also enjoy the outcome afterwards especially if you spend a lot of time in your room like you want it to be a place you enjoy being in start a YouTube channel I'm gonna say that again start a freaking YouTube channel it is honestly one of my best decisions I've ever made I've had so much fun making videos for you guys and I seriously recommend you guys to do it too it is like the perfect thing to do if you are feeling bored because it's very accessible you can literally just use your phone record anything you want on there and edit it on your phone as well and then post it and it's really such a great way to put yourself out there because there's so many people watching YouTube I guarantee you there's gonna be someone out there who's gonna watch your video and think it is the best thing ever also something that really gets you to think you can sit down and plan out what you want to film and how you're gonna film it and then actually do it so it's definitely a good 
boredom breaker. And if you're successful, you can even make a career out of it. One thing I'm gonna say is to just be authentic to yourself and be consistent with posting. That was actually two things, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Start a summer scrapbook. I did this last year and it was so worth it because not only do you get to get crafty and design each page however you want, you also get to look back on it for all the years to come. I'm definitely going to do this again this summer because it is so much fun. And if you're struggling with like ideas on how to decorate it, there's so many ideas on Pinterest and I think I'm even going to start a summer scrapbook series here on YouTube so stay tuned for that. That's a YouTube video idea right there. Start a summer scrapbook and then film it and put it on YouTube. You get a super cute scrapbook and you already have your first video. Make a smoothie bowl. I have seen smoothie bowls all over my For You page on TikTok lately and they look so good. I really want to try one. I've yet to make one, but I'm definitely going to make one after I film this video. It's like the perfect summer tree. You can add whatever fruit you want, whatever toppings. You can make it all aesthetic and post it on Instagram or Pinterest or TikTok. Which leads me into my next thing. Try to get famous on TikTok. I know we all have that little clock app on our phone so why not make some use out of it and try and make some content i know getting famous on tiktok is not easy like you may think it's easy but it actually takes a lot of time and effort but then again that will give you something to do whether it's making dancing videos or singing or tutorials i don't know whatever you want just do do what you want and people are gonna love it it's like the same thing with youtube though just post consistently and being authentic to yourself and that's pretty much it i think that's such a fun little idea i mean everyone has tiktok it's free and if your videos do end up blowing up you have a chance to make some moolah too the creator fun is no joke people exercise get moving whether this is a 10 minute ab workout on youtube or just walking around your neighborhood getting exercise is so e and maybe not easy you definitely need some motivation to exercise and that is very hard to get but it is accessible and it's free unless you're going to go to the gym then you probably need a membership but you don't need fancy clothes or fancy equipment or anything you just need you and your body and and as I said before, motivation. And that is something that is hard to get. So I'm going to give you some right now. You go work out right now before I come to your house. And All right, guys, this one is super contradicting to the last one I just said. But bake something, whether this be from scratch or box mix. There's so many recipes out there online or in your cookbook that's been sitting in your cupboard since 2009. The possibilities are endless. You could bake something sweet or savory, whatever you're in the mood for. Find something yummy to make and bake it. And then eat it, of course. Just kidding, don't work out after you eat. That would not end well. All right, guys, that's officially gonna wrap it up for the list. Thank you guys for sticking around this long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I had so much fun filming this and I hope you guys are now less bored. Hopefully there was something on this list that piqued your interest. If not, there's probably other videos out there you can watch. Hopefully it's one of mine though. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.